Hello my Samurai Carriers! Today we continue to assemble the stock Satsuma and by this moment there is already a perfectly assembled engine inside. You can view the previous and next stages of the assembly in the playlist. Find the link in the description. Today we will connect the engine to the ignition coil. We will deal with the gearbox, cooling system, exhaust system. We will lay the fuel system to the engine and also completely assemble the exterior of the car. Let's start by installing the ignition coil. It is installed on the right side of Satsuma and is tightened with two bolts by eight. Slightly lower, in the far corner we will install the fuel filter, one bolt by eight, and then we will continue to install the fuel system. Let's install the gas tank and tighten seven bolts by eleven. It is curious that the father of the protagonist didn't have time to remove the fuel line from Satsuma, so it does not need to be installed, but you need to tighten a nut by twelve at the connection with the gas tank. We will install the fuel tank pipe without any bolts. Let's connect the clutch master cylinder to a drive gear. Using an opening wrench, tighten the nut by 7. The most important part is the connection of the cooling system to the engine. Let's start by installing the radiator, 4 bolts by 7. In order for Satsuma to work correctly, we will definitely connect the radiator to the electrics in the next video. It's time to install the hoses between the radiator and the engine. The most important thing to know here is that after an update, clamps were added to the pipes. If they are not tightened, then the coolant will quietly leak out and the engine will be destroyed. Take a screwdriver and tighten a total of 5 bolts. Then you can fill in coolant. In my summer car you can save money on it and piss inside the radiator. In Finland urine cools the engine better than coolant itself. Maybe Finns are so cool? Write in the comments. Now let's start installing the exhaust system. The easiest way for me is to install the pipe not from the pit, but from the side of the car. It is easier to find the installation point this way. Tighten two bolts by seven at the junction with the exhaust headers. One bolt by seven is located on the pipe hanger under the bottom of the car. Next, we install the muffler itself, nothing hard. Tighten one bolt by seven. Now let's move on to the gearbox. A half shaft extends from it to each wheel. To put it on, first unscrew the hub nut by 14. At the same time, I still advise you to unscrew the wheel to avoid bugs. Tighten 3 bolts by 9 on the gearbox. And most importantly, do not forget to tighten the nut by 14 back. If the wheels cannot be removed or installed, jack up Satsuma so that the wheel is off the ground. Repeat all the actions with another wheel. Now let's go inside the car and install the gear stick. Tighten 3 bolts by 6. From the pit we will install a link between the gearbox and the gear shift lever. Tighten two bolts by five on the bottom and one nut by five on the top. Do not overlook it, otherwise gears will switch to neutral. Let's move on to the exterior and install the doors. To do this, put them and briefly press on the door handles. The doors will open. On the hinges, tighten four bolts by ten. Let's put the fenders on Satsuma, each of it has 5 bolts by 5.
install the boot lid 4 bolts by 6. Front and rear bumpers are held by 2 bolts by 8. Tighten the radiator grill with 2 bolts by 6. To install the hood we need to install the dashboard first. Tighten it with 2 bolts by 10. Install the hood 4 bolts by 6. Again, do not put the battery in Satsuma without the hood, it can be stolen at night. If everything worked out, you did a good job, but the fun is ahead. Subscribe to the channel, do not forget to use the playlist about building Satsuma. See you in the video about wiring. Stay well!